hello once again thank you for tuning in welcome back to my channel uh, in this video I'd like to show you guys how I build the printed circuit boards uh, for my magnetic pulsers this is a 4S unit that this printed circuit board is going to and also it's been used for 5S as well and it just has a slightly different configuration all right um, in front of you you have just um, drilled printed circuit board this is a cloud board that has a fiber glass on the back and a layer of copper above it glued to it and uh, you get those in different size 4x6 or larger this is a I believe 8x11 um, sheets and um, you cut out how much you need <clears throat> you measure it and um, I used to um, cut out with the blades but right now I'm using uh, scissors they work very well even with the thick there's a couple um, variations of them thick and thin one even for a thick one it works very well so once you cut to the size then you'll need a template this is my template um, it's a hybrid template that contains through hole components and also SMD surface mount components uh, I made the uh, this is like a new updated version I made like 20 boards already with this that's why it's kind of dirty sorry about that um, the reason I don't enclose it in plastic because I made the changes here and I need to have it open so I can make the changes so you need one of these um, layout or you can place the components by looking the circuit you place the components where they um, roughly where they where you want them and then you will um, draw the lines connecting them and then you transfer those lines uh, onto onto here using let me show you here this is a squeeze action marker a white with metal tip and I use this for a while this will last you for a lot you can probably made 150 200 boards with one of these this size boards so it'll last you for a while also you will need uh, three drill bits in my case I need just three drill bits uh, this is a three millimeter this is a 0.8 millimeter bit and this is 1.8 millimeter this is for the wires that's for most of the components like resistors and chips and this is for the support right here this large hole so let's uh, go ahead and draw another one of these onto here so the way I do it first I'll cut to the size that I need then I'll take my template and um, from this side here this would be my front this would be my back so I would lay it like that and then I'll take a clear tape um, and I'll tape it so that it wouldn't move also I use usually I'll do two boards at a time this saves you time um, I would recommend using a press drill because uh, these bits are very fragile and if you wiggle it as you're drilling it especially if you have two boards 
you can definitely break it very easily so let's go ahead and draw one more board and you'll see how I'm doing it start to finish Okay, so after completing um, drawing, what I do is I go over and any places where it's connected, like right here, I'll, I'll scratch off some paint, I'll try to film it, scratch off some paint here, and other places where, where it's really close, like right here, for example. and possibly here um, right here so you got an idea so I would go make sure spaces are are good if space is not um, big enough I will open it up more here this is gonna be a diode here uh, SMD surface mount diode so for most part it looks all right I know it's not perfect one here but the idea is to connect components together and these pathways will connect them very well after I solder everything all right guys so <clears throat> after I check everything and recheck with the printed circuit board because once I itch it it's gonna be forever I can't go back uh, so the next step is I'll take a tooth sticks and I'll cut the pieces off of it just a all right so I cut the ends of the tooth sticks and I inserted it one here one here and one here that's so that when I place my printed circuit board to each uh, there will be a space on the bottom uh, each pattern so the next step is itching it takes about 20 minutes and I use a ferric chloride solution I reuse it for many times until it doesn't work and it works um, this this can this is enough here to uh, each probably a thousand of this so you don't need much this is a strong solution here let me show you how I do it okay I poured about one inch of ferric chloride solution into the bed tub here, plastic bed tub, and now I'm gonna submerge my PCB into here. So I do it sideways to push out the bubbles from underneath, and I just drop it and it submerges it. Now I'll take 20 minutes and we'll come back and see what happens. All right, guys, it's been about 30 minutes, so let's take a look. It seems like it's done. Yeah. Now I gotta wash it. All right, guys, so I just washed the board. The next thing I do is I take a blade, razor blade and I'll scrape off the paint so I'll just, 
Okay, here we go. We've got another copy of the board. So that's how I make these boards. Um, yes, you can say that I can order it and made it uh, via machinery and I will do them. I haven't got there yet, but for now I just make them by hand and they work very well. Alright guys, if you like the video, subscribe to new ones and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.